Hello you absolute legends. A top three speedrunner of GT Online has been found to have cheated his runs via splicing. Splicing being the act of taking the faster parts of multiple speedruns, then editing them together to create a much faster run and pretending it was just all one attempt. The cheated run was submitted to the solo Kia Perico highest category, a GT Online heist where even people who don't traditionally speedrun attempt to find the most optimal routes to complete it as fast as possible due to it often being the fastest way to grind money in the game. The popularity of this heist in general has led to 200 people submitting a time to the leaderboard and many of these people have never submitted to another speedrun before. The runner named Fix however decided to cheat to get ahead and in this video I'll be looking at his run and explaining how he got caught. I hope you enjoy. Cheating is a constant burden on speedrunning. While the amount of people who cheat is incredibly small compared to the amount of people who perform runs, the difficulty in discovering them means that whenever anyone does anything special, anything impressive, there is always that small doubt where you have to ask, but did you really do this? Is this real? It might surprise you to learn that there has never been a known cheater in GT5 speedrunning. Some minor accidental rule violations and at least one case of a person using a macro to complete a meme run faster, but nothing of substance. Given that GT Online runs are far shorter than those of GTA 5, and arguably there are far more people with an interest in GT Online, it is not surprising that it was first to see such a scandal. But honestly, it seems as though no speed game is immune forever. For when even the biggest names can be caught cheating, who can you trust? Did you see this former top speedrunner admit to doping recently? Gross. On the surface, GTA Online is a weird game to speedrun compared to the more popular speedrunning titles. It's an online service game that still receives updates, meaning the developers can intentionally or unintentionally break speedrunning strategies at any time. Unlike many single player games, you can't just play on an older patch, because if you did, you'd be unable to connect to the service properly and play the game. However, often the speed games people pick up are the games that they already enjoy casually, and so if you happen to be interested in GTA Online, you have little choice but to live with the risk that a patch may make your runs obsolete due to their strategies no longer being usable. Luckily, at no point has an older patch run not eventually been beaten by a run on a newer patch. While there have been strategies that updates have made impossible, new strategies have always been found to drop the run times even lower. With that preamble out of the way, the cheated run we will be examining today is Fixer's 1841 in the solo Kia Perico high speed run category. Looking at the run, we immediately see something suspicious. His timer has been added after the fact in an editing program rather than being recorded with his run at the time of its completion. What he's done here isn't against the rules. Not all speed games require a timer to be shown on screen when the run is recorded, but many of them do because the timer being recorded with the run makes splicing harder, although not impossible. For me at least, it would be less suspicious if he didn't put the timer in at all. But this added timer potentially has a purpose as it hides his money and ammo, which can hide inconsistencies between the different runs that he spliced together. Unfortunately for him, as we will soon see, it was not very effective. Fix's run, like all Kia Perico runs, starts off by using a job warp to collect a plane to fly it to Kia Perico Island to scope it out for the later heist. This involves starting a custom job from the map at the location we want to go and then quickly cancelling the job which leads us to appear at the job marker. Fix's run immediately looks suspect when his game loads in far faster than normal, suggesting that he has edited out some of the loading time. Here is a comparison with two other runners. Certainly it's possible for internet speeds or hardware differences to impact these loading times, but not to this degree. Upon collecting the plane and reaching the island, we see a similar issue. Normally when you trigger the cutscene that loads the Kea Perico Island, there is a 4-8 to eight second black screen before it loads you into the cutscene. In Fixer's run however, it takes 1 second, which is faster than every other runner, and this is especially insane when you consider that GTA Online has been long criticized for its terribly long loading times. After successfully reaching the island, getting to the communication tower, hacking in, and scoping out the target loot, we see the next red flag after he cancels the simian job to warp back to Los Santos. In order to spawn particular custom vehicles in the run, you need to start a motorcycle club becoming its presidents. This sets your player arrow and the assets you own that are shown on the map to a particular color. When Fix is flying to the island, we can see on the map that these were colored orange. However, when he comes back, we can see in the recording that these are now shown as green. Green. This showcases that there are at least two different runs being spliced together here, as nothing was done in the run that would account for this change in color. 
Another inconsistency is shown after he collects the long fin later to be used in the assault on the island for the highest. In order to job warp out of the submarine that is the hub point for these missions, you need to start and then cancel a random quick job using your phone. Fix's phone being shown on screen allows us to compare the in-game time at the start of his going to get the long fin and the time after he returns. A comparison reveals that five days worth of time has passed in the game, which would roughly take five hours of real time, which is obviously not how long it took him to get the boat. Showcasing again that this is at least two different runs done at two different times that were spliced together. These time issues are not just revealed via the phone however. After Fix steals the save code and the fingerprint cloner, he is required to fly back to the submarine because you can't job warp with the cloner in your possession. When he enters the submarine, it is clear morning, but when he leaves not 20 seconds later, it is deep into the afternoon. A full day cycle in Los Santos takes 48 minutes real time, therefore obviously time in the game should not progress that much in just 20 seconds. And finally, remember how I mentioned that the timer was potentially placed to block the amount of money Fix had? Well, unfortunately for him, when you go to do a job warp, you need to pause the game, which shows your money on another part of the screen. Therefore, we can see at one part of the run, Fix has 17 million in the bank and 11 million in cash, but just a few minutes later in the run, they have 11 million in the bank and 14 million in cash. The guy lost $3 million in three minutes. While this is normally not unusual for GT Online, given how ridiculously things are priced, he does not make any purchases during that period and thus has nothing in the run to explain this discrepancy. More examples of these same issues occur as he gets the cutting torch, Haxon gets the guns from the weapon locker, and then goes to the island on the long fin to rob Mr. Rubio of his bearer bonds and flees the island. But ultimately covering them would just be repeating myself. Too fast loading times, inconsistent icons, inconsistent times of day, and money discrepancies show that this was a pretty poor attempt at a spliced run. This was probably just done by a kid sick of losing runs who figured he'd make the run that he knew he would eventually get, and therefore, in his mind at least, deserved. While cheating is never a good thing, the one silver lining to the story is that your boy Dark Viper AU is back in the top five. Yeah! yeah. Honestly, this instance of cheating was not all that impactful, but it is still an interesting story due to it being the first known instance of someone splicing a run in the later GTA titles. And so with that, I wish you all the best. Boop.